All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back once again now to the Starlight TV iLeague Star Series Season 14. My name is Blue, currently solo casting. Thankfully, I should have somebody for the next set joining me today, but I do apologize once again for any of the problems caused in my cast by the uh, fact that I'm doing it alone. But we're going into the second map now between Dignitas and Envious. Envious with a very strong performance coming off of the first map there. With a very satisfying score, but if I remember correctly, 16 to 4 in their favor uh, with Dignitas, of course. Having the trouble they had on their T side in, tr in general, but obviously with that being Inferno, a very volatile map for teams that have trouble with their T side to begin with. So I imagine now going into this pick, Dick the Toss will be feeling a little more solid. But keep in mind, a lot of those problems with the T side were just more general things that could essentially transfer here into this map now too. It'll be on Cobblestone, of course, and Cobblestone can be a little bit more of an easier map for the T side to work with. But with just how strong and with basically the iron wall defense that Envious had mounted for themselves there, I am a little bit worried with potentially how things could end up going. But we're in the knife round now to decide which team is going to get the start on which side. And good for Envious here. Three to one trade. And Schneider's trying to make it different, but that's not going to pan out so well as Envious will come out on top here once again. So the bells are tolling essentially. We'll just have to see what Dignitas can work with here. But Envious players are going to choose to start over here on the CT side, so Dignitas will get their opportunity, assuming this is where they wanted to start playing things off here, which, generally speaking, would be expected for a map like this. We'll have to see how well they can mount the defense here. The big things overall, I think that the team communication needs to be a little bit better on Dignitas' side. Like I said, the takes before were very, very sloppy, and the fact that they would just try to move in one by one onto the site, the calls were coming out of positions, and unfortunately players like Happy and whatnot would just rip them to shreds. There was that pause that came in towards about two-thirds of the way through the first half that I think could have a good impact and potentially could change things now going into this one, because like I said before, and like I showed before, we ended up going for the break with those that missed it. We saw that there was, there was a good change in the overall momentum of the rounds, and the fact that they were constantly able to, at the very least, get themselves onto the site get themselves in there or just prevent themselves or even win a couple rounds like they win two more rounds there towards the end so it wasn't completely a disaster there as we got towards the end of the half because I think they recentered themselves a little bit more but um, overall still we still looked at I think it was like like five to two there for those last seven ish rounds before we ended up ending the half there and with the score overall like that, that's still going to lead very heavily into the Envious players, but we just have to hope that now on a better map and a map that they chose, they can do a little bit better along with recentering themselves in that pause that they did, it can do the work that it does now over here onto this map and they can fix those problems that they were working with. But on their way in, thankfully, it's going to do some great work as they pick up two kills, now controlling the connector. Kenny S, though, not going to go down without a fight. He's going to be able to grab Pimp here as he goes back over to the balcony, looking for Kirby as well, but got completely off guard as two players rush into him. Apex with another one as well, but unfortunately, these final two CTs, not with a whole lot left to work with at this point, pushed off the site. Their connector was control by the Tees just a moment ago. Apex looking to sneak back in, but they're all in good spots, and there's Aizy with another one there, too, to take down Apex. It's going to shut him right down, and the same story for Kirby. Shuts out Kiyoshima. And that's going to be another pistol round here that goes the way of Dignitas now, as they finally pick something up here themselves here to start off their lead nice and strong. And now we'll have to see if they can keep it consistent, because Envy is going to go five players picking up armor buy-ups, and the upgraded pistol is coming directly behind this one as well. Two Deagles in the mix for both Apex and NBK. And then Kiyoshima... Kenny S along with uh, Happy are just going to stick with the 500 or obviously the P250 on Happy. And we'll see MSL toss a nade back down over there in a drop to try to work out. The rest of the team split up potentially here to work. Overall, just a fairly split take here in terms of just trying to take it back for the time being. But there's going to be NBK. Starts it up with a nice eagle shot, but back to what I was talking about. They split things up here, just looking for picks initially in hopes that they can get an advantage from the get-go. But that's obviously not going to be working out with NBK fighting some shots like this. The rest of the team does solidify themselves inside of the castle halls. Potentially make a push into that B site here as they try to get themselves all together, but keep in mind they still got a little bit of nade utility to work with here too on the side of Envious, specifically this one. If they can time this correctly and if Kenny S can connect this, it can still do a whole lot of damage here to prevent these guys from getting in, but four rifles now going up against five pistols, still a very good advantage for Dignitas to work with, and they've got an extra smoke to get tossed in there from AZ as well, but a big investment, so if we can see Envious shutting it down here, that's going to be essentially a full reset on Dignitas here, and that nade timing is absolutely perfect. Look at all the damage it's done. Kenny S is going to pop right out there. Kirby gets one, but Kenny S returns a little bit more damage. NBK getting another one with the Deagle, and Kenny has even picking up another kill there, too. They shut it down, and Kirby, he's got to run for his life with a tail between his legs. Has to get the hell out of here. Hopefully, he can rotate somewhere and hide into a corner or something. But look at him. He's all the way back in T-spawn now. He's gone way back here. He's going to look for kills at the end of this to try to save this AK at least. Maybe get himself in the tower or something, but oh my goodness, what a shutdown from Envious. 
It's like I talked about, it was relying on that nade just being absolutely perfect there from Happy, and it ends up going this way. Just throws it there, does damage, probably a combined total of around almost 200 damage. I'm pretty sure it hit almost every single player, and that just forces Kirby out of the site there. Everybody else just shuts it down with some nice pistol trains. NBK, if you didn't miss that, to tear it too. NBK managed to pick up another shot too with the Deagle as he grabbed the headshot to finish off another one of the Dignitas players, and that combined with that play from Kenny S just shuts it down, and they immediately trade the rounds back into their favor, so... Now they're going to be tied up one for one right from the get-go, and there you have it. <laughs> now they're back into control as far as this is concerned. And also two rifles go their way for free, essentially, as is a deagle over here that's tossed over from, uh, that's tossed over there from NBK over on Akio's hands. So he's just going to use that for the time being, but everybody else is upgraded to a rifles. NBK specifically sitting on the FAMAS, and Dignitas are going to be broke. They still got that AK on Kirby, obviously, but for the rest of their guys, they don't really have much else. A couple armor vibes, P250s, and a Tech Knight on MSL. But with a hold like that, definitely going to hurt the morale overall here from Dignitas, considering the way that they started things off there on the pistol round. And already, Happy shutting down one player. Hip is able to push in, get in the face and look for more, but NBK finding two more additional kills, and Keo picking up an additional as well there. And although MSL will actually end up sneaking through with another kill as well, it won't matter too much. They still keep three out of four of the rifles they had in play, in play to begin with here. And that was a good play too there too, just have Keo keep the, uh, just have Keo keep playing with the Deagle at that point, because obviously... Pretty reasonable doubt to believe uh, that at least one of those players would end up going down before the round concluded, so you re don't really need to invest in an extra rifle, especially when Dignitas are still going to be essentially reset here and working with pistols at this point. So obviously if you just lose one player there, you can just pick up the rifle again, and you won't have to invest any additional money going into that next round if you do work for it. But Dignitas just playing it nice and straightforward once more, working their way out over here to the broken wall entryway onto that B site. Flash comes in. They don't really have too much here. It's essentially a, a, like a straight pistol round from them. Even worse than that, to be completely honest, and there you go. <laughs> Not much else to add to that. They get that one flash out there, but that's really the only thing that they can throw out that time is no other real additional uh, kills are going to be traded out onto the envious players, and they stack up a very clean round off of the hands of that one there. But thankfully, that's going to have to be the only save they have to go for, is they'll be able to go directly into another buy. Don't have a lot of mollies or anything to work with here, but at least Pimp is going to be able to get his hands onto an op with armor as well, which we've often seen that too. That You know, sometimes teams, when they get stretched a little bit on the economy, they have to go for that glass cannon op buy just to add a little bit of extra power. But this time is not going to be the case. However, for Schneider, he pushes himself forward pretty aggressively to start things off, slows his roll down a little bit as he approaches the broken wall, just in case uh, we did see some aggressiveness coming out from Envy. But also, there was an attempt to push these two players, as you can see from Dignitas, back down over towards drop, but those as well are going to have to fall back. And playing around over here inside of the Mipcon, too, you've got Apex along with Kirby. Excuse me. Trying to mess with each other a little bit there. Kirby ends up uh, falling back there, though, because it is a little bit too aggressive of a spot for him to play against at this point, and it might not end up being worth there, but actually the flash connects perfectly onto Kenny S. He's able to get around the corner and get out of the way, but as he pushes through, Kerry picks up the kill, and that's going to be an opener. MSL finds one and drop as well as they move in from there, looking for another one, but finally Keo picking one up for Envy's at this point as the players are trying to push in. Still committed to B at this point, and that great flash from Kiyoshima too. He's going to be able to jump right out, finds another one, looking for the shutdown on Izzy, which he's going to find. That's going to take him down, and now they're back into control of this situation. The rest of the players, Kirby also regrouping at this point with Pimp as well, but Keo just has to sit back, and there's even a flight coming in, and another flash. He can't spot anything with it, but he does get a little bit more intel as to what exactly may be going on. This flash pops out. Going to hit Kirby, not in a big way, but it does bring his attention over there to the side, and now the flank is in play, and now that Deagle comes back out, and Kyo just shuts it down. Two more kills for him, and that's an ace for Kiyoshima as he picks up the fourth round for Envious. And with that kind of round like that, Dignitas, again, nowhere to run at this point, and it starts off so well for themselves, too. Two entries, they're screwing around, they've even got some of the attention drawn over towards the A site, but the players from Envious are able to rotate quickly into that, and Kiyoshima just goes absolutely insane with that Deagle, shuts down everybody on Dignitas, and they're left with, again, nowhere to run at this point. Back on to pretty much a full save for these guys, they've got a couple Deagles in play, P250 armor on the Kirby, but beyond that, already kills going by the way of Envious at this point, as NBK is going to find one on Daisy. The rest of the guys, all four stacked up to push directly into the B site. Nobody playing from jump. Happy even watching out towards upper and is going to open up another flank opportunity. But here they go. Keo lining up, finding one more there for himself. Picks up a second, looking for a third. But finally, Schneider finds one at least. But then Happy gets that flank opportunity. He's going to shut down Schneider. And Kenny as well gets himself in play with the op and takes out Pimp. Five to one now. And we're going right back to those old habits we saw in the last map from Dignitas. Where they're kind of just going directly into the site. So not really, there's not really a whole lot of, you know, there's not really much dynamic to the play here at this point. They're just going directly for it. But it's not really working out very well at all. It's just kind of getting shut down as they use splashes and whatnot, but there's no smoke walls, there's no there's no utility setups or anything such as that to try to work their way in. It's it's very, very rudimentary in terms of what Dignitas is bringing to the table. Here's another example of that too. They flash out, they do the smoke through broken wall. The rest of the players are gonna try to sneak through, but 
How are they gonna get themselves up through here? There's a flash to put Apex down, but he's gonna get one spray there. Flash doesn't even really fully hit him there, too. It gets a nice knob, but it comes out a little bit too late as they try to push in. So Kenny's gonna pick up that second kill there, as now he gets in a position to support these players, too. And Apex finding another kill. Keo up on top of the flower box by the tree. He's gonna pick up a kill there on a Schneider, and Happy just pushes in the middle, finds Kirby, and now 6-1 to one for Envious at this point. Almost a team Asian, I should mention that time as well. The only player that didn't get a kill was NBK as Apex gets a little bit greedy. But obviously not too much off of their chests. And Dignitas falling into the same problem now. We'll see what they can buy up this time. They go still go for a pretty competent rifle buy up. Uh, they got no mollies or anything like that. And no HEs either. So not going to have a whole lot to force players out of position. Uh, but they've got a smoke and whatnot. It's just unfortunate that, you know, like, I, I would say the smokes. Yeah, it's great they've got smokes and whatnot. But their, their smoke setups and whatnot, we just haven't really been seeing a lot of that one. So I, I don't think it's going to be as nearly as impactful as you would usually think for a team like this. And the molly as well going to get tossed over towards upper. Just by the drop point, as the rest of these players, they're trying to go for this big push there too, as you mentioned, there are three players, but Schneider actually catches one, he's going to shut down Kiyoshima, Apex looking for the trade, he's going to find it, a little bit of a cost to himself as he's taken down to about 74 HP, but the rest of these guys trying to walk their way into the site, Kiri picks up one, but again, it's beyond that, that's the only kill they're really going to be able to find are those two on NBK and Kiyo, as the rest of those guys just shut it down, that waterfall attempt, we're going to drop, that doesn't really go anywhere either. So that gets taken out pretty quickly, and I imagine if we're going to see the same thing that we had happening in the first map here, a pause could be in our future very, very shortly here from Dignitas, just to try and recenter and figure out what the hell is going on. And Envy at this point, too, they just know they have absolute control for themselves. Keo, ignore the fact that he does not have two kills right now. I think my Go TVs get a little bit bugged because I don't have uh, health pools or I don't have health pools or ammo on my screen either for some reason. So he's got the auto upgrade now, and <laughs> there's gonna be NVK pushing in. Finds two kills before he's traded out, but there we go. Keo with the auto. And Kenny looking to shut it down with the off on MSL. It's going to take him out nice and quick. And for Envy, man, this is just a this is just a very quick game for them, to be completely honest. Nothing really else to add, unfortunately, beyond that. It's just Dictatos kind of getting run over at this point. Envy is trying their best in order to... Uh, Envy is trying their best in order to keep... Envy is trying their... Oh, apologies, not Envy. Uh, Dignitas, I should say. Trying their best in order to sort of keep the dream alive and try to make these pushes, but it's just... I don't know, man. I don't know what else to add. It's just, they're just walking right into these sites a lot of the time, and obviously that's not going to work out no matter how many times you try that. They, again, they split themselves up at least, so they try to do that here and try to play it a little bit more dynamically as they move themselves in, but they're walking right into Kenny. Kenny, though, he's going to miss the shot, so finally an opportunity opens up. Schneider and Kirby are going to pick up those two kills, but Schneider, again, is working over here towards the B side to draw that attention, and now they know it's actually going to be happening here. Schneider, though, lines up another nice headshot there. That's going to shut down Happy Pimp, finding another one there, too, on NBK with this double op T side setup. This is finally working out great for them, and there we have it. Apex. The brute force strategy from Dignitas finally ends up coming through here as they work their way in. And unfortunately for Kenny, that missed shot is going to be a very large missed opportunity. As he's only able to pick up one of those players there that time, and they end up trading him out, and everything sort of falls apart on the defense from Envious there. As the Brits dropped into a four-on-one situation, Dignitas full control of that B side there too. And props to Schneider as well, also making his way into that site to begin with, getting full control, finds the opening option, jumps down, picks up another one as they try to aggress him to take him down. So they lose control there. And now Apex, he's going to go for this big flank to line up for potentially some exits here to hopefully get caught off guard. They're not going to expect him to be in the garden, I imagine, but still uh, won't actively look for this retake as that's going to be a very low chance of having that happen here at this point. So he's got a good position here with him being flanked. Apologies with him flanking all the way around and getting himself into this corner too. They're going to have a feeling that somebody may be screwing around here, but there they go. They roll in and Izzy actually waits for it. Just shuts him down nice and easily with a headshot there on Apex. So that takes him down. And the second point comes out for Dignitas now, and this is just looking a lot like the first map's first half here too, where they are actually able to pick up one good round here and there, but obviously with the money built up upon Envy at this point, still not going to be too big of a, uh, not going to be too big of a chip off their shoulder, as they can still buy quite heavily here, and looking like they can buy potentially for the next two, you know, like one to two rounds here as well, depending on how the losing bonus affects them, but I, they definitely will have enough for at least one more buy through here, and potentially that could segue into a force buy on the second one as well, if they want to really push for that one, and I imagine there's no reason they wouldn't, they've already got eight rounds here on CT side, and I imagine they can sweep through one or two more here with the record so far from Dignitas. But Dignitas try to go a little bit aggressive here once again. Back over towards A long and attempt to push through this one. It's smoked off, so they have to call it off. But the same story here through Midcon as well. Won't be able to find anything through that avenue. So MSL just gonna fire some blind shots. Hopefully try to catch something there. And over here towards drop. Schneider looking for the option to NBK. Can't pick it up. And NBK is gonna get the trade. Gets the Colat headshot on the Schneider. Shutting him down, knocking him out. And that's gonna be another op going on to the ground here for the T's. Someone could definitely go and pick that up if they would want to, but also Kenny S picking up that player over there towards Long, so that push has been killed. Now Kenny's free to rotate into that B site and support that one, but keep in mind, all these players are still in very good spots and haven't really been challenges of yet. 
Three smokes and a molly still appear as well for Dignitas. So the take, if they line this up dynamically, and if they line this up with that utility, this should still go pretty well for them. But here comes a smoke, or here comes a flash over that. But that's all they're going to use at this point, just that flash. And again, they leave themselves overexposed. MSL thankfully finds something in here from Drop, but Happy's going to have to hold this one. He picks up the kill, and now it's just pimped back over there by the broken wall. He's going to have to try and hold, but again, nothing else to cover him, so he's going to go down very quickly. And that again became the problem, and it was the same thing that we saw in the last month or two. I mean, you look at what they had. They had a, they had a couple. They had a molly. They had I think probably I don't think they used any of those smokes. They had two more smokes in their arsenal, well, potentially a third one. None of it got used to find the way into the site. Obviously, the timer gets gets a little bit lower, so that can come into play. But when you're going up against players that are insane as envious as roster, you just can't be directly challenging them like that with only a flash to support you, as you're just going to leave yourself open. And another issue here too is Happy just gets this flank so often they're not even going to be ready for it here. It's another eco round, and they just get shut down. Smokes are only smokes and player coming up from the CTs at this point. So look at it, 5-0. Not a single point of damage was done to anybody from Envious. Every single player is at 100 HP at the end of that round. And they just scotch-free, essentially, run away with this one. Now their economy built up to an even stronger point. Not that it really matters. We've only got three rounds left here in the half at this point. But they're built up to a point. 13k sitting on Apex and at Kenny. 11k sitting on Happy. And then 9.8 and I believe like 4.8 on NBK. So he's the... Or 6.4, apologies, on NBK. But he's the lowest, but still 6.4 is still enough for another rebuy at this point. Potentially two. Obviously, his teammates are helping out with the buys. But there's a boost again. They try to walk right into that. Kirby at least picks up the Deagle shot. So that's going to shut down Happy. But there's Keo again. Shuts out, shutting out MSL. Happy as well. Holding within the mid connector. Takes out Pimp. I don't know where the bomb is as of yet, but I think they've got a pretty good feeling because Dignitas have been pretty straightforward with pushing things over here towards the upper part. And then NBK. And we'll just re-smoke that just to just to be safe and so they can commit all of their assets here to the broken wall. And NB might even get a little bit cheeky about this, to be honest here, and that's exactly what's gonna happen. Kia moves in just to see if he can spot this. Get some spray over there on a Kirby. Doesn't spot a Schneider yet, so Schneider could actually sneak through, potentially catch him on the reload. But there we go. He's switched from forcing to switch over to the pistol, but oh my goodness, Kenny catches Schneider. Not a headshot, but he still picks him up as he jumps over on top of the blocks there, saving his teammate's life. Now he's gonna go and take the place of his former teammate, but Kirby still holding strong. He's gonna pick up one more kill for faltering, but that will still be a that goes very much in the favor of Envious as they, again, just get a little bit aggressive. I think they want to get it over with at this point as they shut down one of the final players. They take them down. Dignitas now heading into the final rounds here. Going in for another buy at this point. Full rifles. No op, unfortunately, going on a pimp or anybody else. And again, they've got what they need to work with, but, you know, the big question as it's been this entire time is how are they going to use it? How are they going to change up the game plan? Because obviously this B take has not been going anywhere, and that's been that's been the straightforward game plan for the past like three to four rounds that they've been working towards. Even drop here too, they're having trouble with that one just because it either gets mollied or they counter boost it all the time. And they just don't know when to expect what here, leaving the flank open so often. I should mention here too, just to shy away from being completely negative towards Dignitas this entire time, and I do apologize if it's appeared that way. But obviously with the scoreline at this point and with how quickly it's been going, there's definitely a lot of things to highlight in that regard. But Envious, uh, again, just like we had on the previous map, Envious have just been an absolute stonewall in regards to their holds too. A lot of this is because of the fact that Dignitas is coming right into them, but, but still here, Envious have been quick on the trigger, even for those quicker takes that, that Dignitas have tried to work for when they go for these five-man flushes over here into the sites. Just obviously back and do it very well a lot of the time, but MSL, one of the few players that's been successful numerous times here and working towards his angle, Finds an opening kill on NBK and drop. It's going to get smoked out there and happy as well. Looking for a couple shots, but now that they have an avenue to work towards, they're definitely going to use it here. And MSL goes over towards the main entryway over here towards the door out inside of Connector. Won't really move beyond that just yet. And Pimp 2 moves himself just inside of that doorway. But there's Happy picking up the first kill. Now he's going to be able to push back in and retake control of this one. And AZ2 getting sprayed down a little bit there. Happy's going to move back in just in case. But they do realize now that the play is still happening in this B site. Pimp finding a kill there. As did IZ earlier there over on the Kenny. And now Happy... He's going to pick up one of the last few kills here. It's Izzy and I'll just pimp. That'll be the last players left alive. And Happy again could just play with Pimp at this point. 15 seconds left. He knows he's got a plant at some point here, but he just picks up the headshot. Tap, tap, tapity tap. Finishes him off. And again, Envious looking like they might have a 13-2 lineup here, which will probably be pretty likely because Dignitas uh, won't really have too much to buy up here. They'll have a fully, they have their full utility spread. They've got everything they need in order to make an entry. Um, but, you know, it's three Tech Nines, a Galil, and an AK sitting on a Schneider. So it won't be looking too good, especially with Envy again here at Kiyoshima specifically. Working with that auto sniper again, and I imagine that the power is going to be a little bit too much for those guys to deal with. But there's Happy again on that counter boost. Gets two before he's traded out by AZ, but NBK there as well as he just walks right into him. And yeah, that's the end of that one. 13 to 2 in the favor of Envious. Exactly, uh, exactly a repeat of what we had on our previous map again. And I believe that Dignitas are going to want to just jump right into the second half to either... I mean, obviously... 
you would expect them to figure out exactly what had gone wrong here and trade things out, but with that happening two times in a row, we didn't even see the pause that time, too, and I mean, just look at it, flawless. Now, I should mention, too, look at this, not a single plant that entire half, I didn't even realize this until just now, I thought they got one in the eco or around there, but that entire half, the, the players from Dignitas didn't plant at the, the just one time, there wasn't a single round where Dignitas were able to even get onto the site and get a plant to begin with, so that, I mean, should speak for itself. The frags, too, looking at it here, just not so good when you compare that the best fragger on Dignitas, which is Kirby, and that has been one of the players too that from Dignitas that has been doing well for himself, Kirby. From what Dignitas have had to work with, Kirby has been doing good with that, and there have been some very all-star rounds for him, like we saw not just on this map, but the previous map. So he's been doing a good, fantastic job on his own sake, but... Again, when you underscore compared to uh, what Envious are working with here, the highest fragger on the team is Dignitas' Kirby. Uh, it still has less kills and an overall, you know, less impact than the lowest fragger on Envious at this point. And that's obviously when you get to a very desperate point to where things are definitely not going the way you want them to. So Envious are going to just take their sweet old time as far as this pistol round is concerned. Working mainly over out there towards long A. One player's gonna end up inside a mid comp, but that response from Pimp, though. Great headshot that connects over there onto Happy. NBK looking for one to try and find his way in through the alley, as is the rest of his teammates coming out through long there, too. But MSL, he's gonna pick up one. Gets traded out there by Kenny, though, and the rest are trying to rotate into this site. NBK gonna be a little bit too close, but Kenny's there to cover for it there. And Pimp behind the APC, he's gonna get shut down by NBK as well. Just Schneider and Kirby, the final two left alive. Schneider tosses up that nature, do some decent damage, brings him down to about 11, 17 HP. But he's gonna have to fall back, and now Kirby coming in through the mid con there. Gets, gets gooshed once, down to 2 HP. HP, but that doesn't finish him off, and he picks up a kill over here onto Kenny, so a two-on-two, two, and they've got MBK pretty low, too, and Schneider knows his position. Schneider trying to pick up one, but MBK pops out, picks up the kill with just 17 HP, and as well, jumps up, finishes him off with a triple shot, takes down Kirby, and there's a basically a GG at that point there for Envy again. They've got the pistol around in the bag, Dignitas, unfortunately, not with a whole lot else they can work with at this point. They're gonna go for the force pipe just to keep the, their opponents off of match point, but obviously... Not a, not a whole lot else that they can do to try and resist that. They're going to have to get that miracle eco that they managed to squeak through with onto Envious from the previous map just to get themselves back into this game. And worse is that I, I, I misstated myself. I thought it was, I said it was a mirror of the last map. They actually, we saw Envious getting one more point. So obviously with them picking up the pistol, they could potentially just get to 16 points off of the uh, anti ecos at this point. Let's see it traded out. But here we go. NPK going inside. He finds the first kill into MSL. He tried to aggress inside of mid connector there. The players from Dignitas already starting to rotate over a little bit, but they've got to keep themselves in play in case the foe rotate. But look at happening. Already inside of here, just shutting him down. Schneider's there to trade it out, at least so they get a one for one advantage. But again, we already saw still two free kills going by the way of Envy earlier, so it leaves it in a two on four. And now there's going to be an attempt to rotate here, specifically from Izzy to maybe catch Apex out. But Apex as well is just going to regroup with the rest of his teammates. He might even flank the flanker. And we'll see if he does this in just a second. He's going to come right out, switch it to his pistol. Doesn't actually see him down to his left there, so Izzy thankfully isn't going to get flanked as he's trying to flank. But that would have been uh, somewhat comical if that ended up happening. And again, from Envious, it's just hunting them down at this point. They know that they're not going to be able to retake here, even if they do end up losing a lot of their players at timers too low. Bomb's going to be blowing up in the next, like, 10 to 15 seconds, and Geo's just looking for kills at this point. Switch to the pistol. He gets shut down by Schneider, so they're going to lose him at the very least. And again, they've picked up some guns off of this one, but in comes NBK now with that AK. Finds one. Schneider maybe looking for the trade, but can't find it, so this will be all the players from Dignitas will be able to escape with. And now we're on match point. This is the only gun these guys are going to have. They're going to force it up again, obviously, but the biggest buys we'll be seeing here, with the exception of that MAC-10 being over there on Kirby with a good utility kit is going to be the FAMAS on Schneider here, and as well as the Scout sitting over on the Pimp. The rest of them are on CZs, as well as a Deagle sitting with IZ, MSL with CZ. Arbor for pretty much everybody except for Pimp, so they at least have that to work with. And Apex 2 here, definitely going to play with these guys a little bit, using that Deagle. Let's see if he can catch anybody with this one. IZ already taking a little bit of damage here, dropped down to 71. MSL hiding in that corner, hoping they don't spot him here to maybe pick up some damage with this. He's going to try to creep out. He didn't see his foot, so he's actually going to take him down. He picks up the one kill, and NBK, no. He can't get the trade. Izzy as well picks up another headshot kill. It's going to shut down Kiyoshima, but there's Happy now getting himself back into the play here for the players from Envious. Can he try to push forward at this point and try to get more of those trades? But he's actually going to, unfortunately, have to fall back now with just 12 HP as they look to bring it back into their favor. Happy picking up another one there, too. Almost picking up another one, I should say, as he brings Shatter down just a single health point. Kenny looking to finish off Pimp. He spots him, but he has to watch his health pool there, of course, obviously. Takes him down to about 65, and they're slowly just whittling them down. MSL going to maybe sneak up on Happy here, or Kenny, apologies, in order to take him down. As he creeps out, it looks like Kenny might get himself into a safe spot. But nope, he's going to run up. Fits the first one. Looking for the second trade out here. As well, here we see Pimp picking up that kill. Still onto Kenny. This is the only one that he's managed to get. And Happy is still kind of screwing around over here with the B site too. Great response in order to take down Schneider. So now he's got this one. <laughs> Pimp, uh, Pimp screws up there a little bit. It's his teammate. But obviously uh, we'll still see the kill going up over there onto his opponent anyway. 
Now it's just happy. Picking up the first one on a pimp. Might end up going down here, so we might see if he can toss maintain for just a little bit longer to this one. The smoke comes out. He's going to go over there up on top of balcony. And if he clutches this, it would be insane. He's got 2 H, 9 HP, but... Oh, man. Kirby saves that from happening in a disaster. And Dignitas will end up coming out on top, at least with another round for themselves. Envy actually did screw the pooch a little bit in terms of their money. Uh, when you look at the fact that they just got super aggressive at the end of that second round, they just pushed in and they lost like two to three additional players. So they won't be able to afford another buy up here at this point. So Dignitas do have a saving grace in that they can, they do have another round here where they're going to have an economical, uh, economical advantage once again now for the rest of these guys. Deagles mainly for the most part. Three Deagles on Kenny, Apex, and NBK. And Keo and Happy are just going to be rolling with a CZ and a P250 over on Happy. And Envious again align themselves to, for a pretty dynamic push at this point. Not really committing to any of these sites just as of yet. And the buy-up from Dignitas too isn't even full as of yet. Schneider is still stuck back down on a Mag 7 and Pimp is still using that scout. Try and work a little bit more of a try and work a little bit more of a sniper focus setup. But there's NBK given all the time in the world to line up that headshot there on a pimp. That's gonna take him down as he moves his way out there. NBK as well working his way down. Potentially catch that player, but he picks up one. That's another headshot. MSL in the meantime is pushing in, and NBK moves through. Not able to pick up the kill into Izzy, but Izzy's taking a lot of damage from that play, of course, and now trading out for the AK itself. MSL picks up an additional kill on Apex, and now Kenny this is just going to be the last player alive. He finds two kills with the Deagle. Izzy and MSL both going down, and now it's just Snyder left alive. So <laughs> that might be it. He's even switched out to he's even switched out to a Famas now. So he's got this pretty much in the bag at this point. Kenny went absolutely crazy. And now this is pretty much going to be the end of it now. He moves in, looking for that kill over there on a Schneider, just around the corner. Can he grab it? And not going to spot him yet, so he doesn't know he's there. But as he loops around the corner... <laughs> what? What? What was that shot? <laughs> Alright, so that's going to end it. 16-3 to 3 is going to be the final score of the matchup. And, yeah, Kenny will uh, be Kenny there towards the end of it. But that closed out our first set very quickly, guys. We've uh, we've definitely got a little bit of time before the next matchup. It isn't scheduled to start for another 40 minutes or so. So uh, if you want to stick around for that one, be sure to do so. So we'll be back at around 3 o'clock Eastern time with that one. That should be 9 p.m. or 21 CEST for you Europeans that are watching. Um, so we'll be back a, a little bit with that one. But just, again, a bit of a very quick review for Dignitas. Obviously, again, just a whole load of issues that needed to be looked at there, and unfortunately they just did not seem to be on point, whereas it was the exact opposite for the players on Envy. Absolutely stonewall defense on the CT side. They didn't really get to see that much other than a T side, but obviously, you know, with the advantage they had gotten on their CT side, T side didn't really need to be that solid in order to close it out. So, once again, guys, thank you for tuning in. We'll be back in just a little bit with more of the Star Letter I-League Star Series Season 14 right here on Twitch.